We have a special guest, Ian Moore, and we talked a lot about the, we talked at least Hi. the, yeah, say hello. 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 We've talked about the Woody Guthrie uh, EPA album, we've talked about Roll On Columbia, and uh, we've talked about the genre of folk music. Uh, Ian is a, a really well-known musician in both Seattle and Austin, Texas, and he's also what they call the Master of Ceremonies for the Woody Guthrie event. There's a, an event tonight that Ian is the person that's speaking and, and playing songs. Later today at 2.30, some of your teachers are going to bring you to the other event. Ian's doing another event on campus, and I'll see some of you guys there too. But um, So how it's going to work, Ian's going to, he's going to talk and he's going to play, and in the last 10 or 15 minutes, you can... Take out your questions. Remember you were writing questions to Ian after you did your homework on him last night. Take out those questions. The last part of class you'll have an opportunity to ask. Uh, some, of, some of you will have a chance to ask him questions. If you want to record this, Ian said that's okay. If you want to record the performance, you can do that. And um, without any further ado, Mr. Ian Moore, everybody. Oh, thanks, y'all. It's good to be here. Um, well, so you've done you've done a bit of research on, on Woody Guthrie, so you kind of know who he is, who he, who he was. He was a very, very political um, folk singer that created an environment where we have colleges like this, we have public libraries. He was the sound part of a major political change in the United States because in the early 1900s, there were the very wealthy people and the very poor people, and there was no middle class. And now we have a, a pretty active middle class. You see that everywhere you go, when you walk into a Starbucks, when you walk to the library. So he was a man that lived his life in protest. His whole life was a protest. He was very poor. He was uh, uh, um, hated by the government for most of his life. The time he spent in, in uh, Seattle area is interesting because he actually worked, as Ethan said, with, um, with the U.S. government, which is strange. He collaborated with his enemy. So that, that, that's not me, is it? I apologize. Yeah. Sorry, let me turn that off. If I know how to turn it off. I have a new phone. I just got it. <laughs> All right, I, think it's, I thought it was off. I apologize. So, um... A lot of what he popularized was traveling, was kind of a hobo life, uh, which is the riding the trains. Mm -hmm. You guys know about that? Where yeah. the, so they would hop on the trains, it was very romantic. It was all about seeing the great, the vastness of America. Because the one thing about the United States, I mean, outside of Russia, it's the biggest physical country in the world. I mean, you take the Asian continent, you know, it's a, a gigantic, gigantic continent, but this country, if you go from side to side, is so big. And before before that time, people weren't exploring it like that. So he popularized the uh, riding on the rails, living like a hobo, sleeping on the side of the, the railroad track, having no money and just going from place to place. Nobody had really done that in this country before that. So the first song I'm going to sing is a song called Ramblin' Round, and it's basically, you know, glamorizing the hobo life, okay? And hobo, hobo means what? A hobo is basically somebody that has no possessions, that doesn't have a home, that just exists from place to place. And um, back before, you would have, that would be a very bad thing, right? It meant you had nothing, you would not saved any money, you had no home, you had nothing to your name. He made it to where it was a very, kind of a romanticized thing to be a hobo, to say, I'm not tied to anything. I have freedom. I can go wherever I want to go. That was a new concept. I mean, we all, these are all things now that we've grown up with, and we assume we're always there, but they weren't. So this is Rambling Round. Rambling around your city, rambling around your town. I've never seen a friend I know as I go rambling around, as I go rambling around. My sweetheart and my parents, I lived in my hometown, and I'm out to do the best I can as I go. 
Well, the peach trees, they are loaded. The limbs are bending down. And I pick them all day for a dollar, boys. As I go rambling around, boys. As I go rambling around. Well, sometimes the fruit gets rotten. And falls upon the ground. Well, there's hungry mouth for every peach as I go rambling around, boys. As I go rambling around. Well, I wish that I could marry so I could settle down. Well, but I can't save a I go rambling around, boys, as I go rambling around. Well, my mother prayed that I would be a man of some renown. Oh, but I am just a railroad bum as I go rambling around, boys, as I go Rambling around your town Well, I never see a friend I know As I go rambling around, boys As I go 